Hey guys, uh, Jordan Mariello with Critical Start here, Senior Vice President of Managed Services. Today I have with me uh, Michael Balboni, uh, President of Redland Strategies, a former Senator, Assemblyman, and Advisor to uh, Homeland Security. Um, honored to have him here with us today. We've been doing some uh, awesome discussions about things that we're doing at Critical Start and working with Redland Strategies, but uh, today we wanted to take an opportunity uh, just uh, to talk to Michael about some general cybersecurity issues. He's a major influencer in our community. I know many of you already know who he is um, and has had a major impact even on some of the legislature that we've seen around our industry too as well. So we wanted to take a time to get some uh, thoughts from him on some of the direction the industry's going and the impact that some of the changes we see in cyber in general are having on national defense and, and the role of Senate and Congress and, and where that's going from a legislature perspective too. So we're gonna open up and have a nice fun conversation here about some of these issues. So thank you so much for being with us, Michael. Thanks for having me, Jordan. And thanks for your service to the country right. and the military. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate your support. When you're looking at you know, a, a CISO and he's attempting to communicate to the board about risk. What are some of the things that you would tell a CISO about how does the board look at cyber and risk for the business that can help them more effectively communicate the risk they might see? So I, I found it that many, obviously there is a, a wide variety of um, information, education, experience as it relates to cyber issues. There's some board members who could be a chief information security officer on their own, yep. and they're a huge asset to the board. But that's not, that typically is not one of the criteria that boards use for attracting trustees or boards of directors. They just, it, it, that's not one of the things they look for. It's an added value, great, but they don't, that's not really part of the typical board of directors profile. And so therefore you have people who sit there and say, okay, we have to do security. It's, it, I look at security as, as one bucket Right? It's whether it's physical security in buildings, it's physical security of the servers, it's physical security of the data we have. And what they sometimes don't focus on is that data is a new oil. We are a data-driven society. Absolutely. And so how we use data, how we protect data, how we explain data to the people that we serve, you know, whether it's our shareholders, our customers, um, you know, the folks that we work for as a board of directors, it's very difficult to articulate that many times. And so we need to have awareness. And we need to say, we need to let people know that cybersecurity doesn't have to be a roadblock to effectiveness. It yeah. doesn't have to be a drag on your business model. It doesn't have to be something that's just a cost driver. We can actually make the system such that we can empower the networks by doing the right, the smart, and the timely changes to the cyber network, employing good strategies.